தீம் சைபர் சேஃப்டி அண்ட் செக்யூரிட்டி டாபிக் ஸ்பாட்டிங் அண்ட் அவாய்டிங் ஆன்லைன் ஸ்கேம்ஸ் வாட் ஐ கான் பிலீவ் லுக் அட் திஸ் மெசேஜ் ஐ ஹவ் ஒன் a whooping amount of rupees 2 lakh in a company's draw wow see how the world has changed come on in which world you are what do you mean i mean just listen to these audios hello sir i'm calling from the bank i'm a bank manager i see in my system that your atm has been blocked if you want to activate it please tell me your card details first Madam, you won the contest. You need to give me your bank details just to receive this money. Hello sir, do you want to double your money in one month? You just need to give me 10,000 and after a month you will get 20,000 in return. Hello, ma'am. You have won the lottery and I can reveal you the numbers of that lottery. But for that you have to give me your bank details immediately. Have you ever received such calls? These are online fraud calls we daily receive in our phones. Free tour, lottery, gift prizes, all these are cyber frauds. First, they tempt you with these offers and then will let you to deposit processing fees and if they manage to get the details of the bank account, they can take away all your money. So, what should we do when we receive such calls or messages? If you receive such a fraudulent phone calls or messages never ever share the details of your bank account debit card credit card password CVV number pin OTP etc legitimate organization will never ask for your confidential information over the phone be cautious of callers who pressure you to act immediately or threaten you with dire consequences if you do not comply with their demands If you suspect that the call is a scam, hang up immediately. Do not engage in conversation with the caller. Do not call back the number provided by the caller. This could lead to more scams or charges on your phone bill. Register all your complaints related to cybercrime at www.cybercrime.gov.in or you can contact your local police department to report the fraud call. Consider adding your phone number to the National Do Not Call Registry. This can help in reducing the number of unsolicited calls you receive. Online fraud calls have become increasingly common in recent times. Fraudsters use various tactics to cheat people and make them to reveal their personal and financial information. Oh my god, I'm scared. What should I do now? Should I stop using mobile phones? Don't worry let me give you a few tips to protect yourself from cyber frauds Firstly be cautious when sharing personal information online scammers and cyber criminals can use this information to steal your identity commit fraud or gain access to your accounts Beware of emails or messages requesting your personal information or messages offering fancy deals Always verify the authenticity of the sender before sharing any sensitive information. Moreover, keep your devices and software up to date with the latest security patches and antivirus software. Regularly backing up your important data can also help to minimize the impact of a cyber attack or device failure. Use different passwords for different accounts to reduce the risk of getting hacked. Ultimately, It is important to stay vigilant and informed about the various types of scams that exist. Furthermore, in today's world, the internet has become an integral part of our lives. It is essential to be aware of the risk associated with online activities. Our country has recognized the importance of cyber safety and security and has taken several initiatives to ensure the safety of its citizens. In 2017, our government has launched a scheme called Cyber Swachhata Kendra with the aim of providing free tools to remove malware from infected devices. Other initiatives taken by the Indian government are Indian Cyber Crime Coordination Center, Indian Computer Emergency Response Team, Cyber Surakshit Bharat, National Cyber Security Coordination Center, National Cyber Security Policy 2013. Cyber security and safety should be a top priority for everyone who uses the internet.
it is the duty of all citizens to be responsible for their own cyber security cyber security is not just a technical issue but it's people's issue it's never too late to start taking your online safety seriously if we all work together and be cautious we can create a safer digital world jai hind thank you for listening 